This is the Luba 2 Robot Lawnmower from Mammothon. It's like a Roomba for your yard. So before you buy it, let me try it. Let you know if this product is worth the money or just funny. Bye bye. I've been using this thing since no mo May. So I've been using it for about three months so far. And this thing has been keeping my yard nice and cut. To map this to your yard, you manually control it via the app. You go around the perimeter of where you want it to mow for each spot, and then it creates the map from that. Also map no-go zones where the robot won't go at all. Like around my fire pit. I do not want the robot to go into my fire pit, so I map the no-go zone and the robot won't touch the fire pit. But I have been abusing it, so I want to change the blades right now. So let's see how we do that. If we flip the robot over, the robot tilted. it tells us that the robot tilted. The robot tilted. Okay, I know. I, I just tilted you. Power off. Let's turn it off just to make sure there's no chance of the blades coming on. We'll come with 12 replacement blades. Enough to change the blades once. It also comes with a screwdriver with an Allen key and a Phillips head on one end. Now it looks like... The Mammothon logo goes on the outside, so that's how we'll change them, and it's just a Phillips head screwdriver. I mean, I've ran over concrete steps, rocks, sticks, toys, metal bars, all sorts of stuff with this thing. So it's definitely time to replace these blades. Actually, this one has a bunch of nicks out of it. This is the used blade. You can see the chipping right here on the top. I wonder if I can just turn this around and use this other side. Oh, I definitely can. You gotta be very careful with these because these are little razor blades. I'm gonna get these all off and swapped out and I'll get back to you. If you guys have a nice smooth yard, it would not do this. My yard is not the most robot lawnmower friendly but it's been doing a great job. Not having the mow in 100 degree weather has been so nice. Plus not having the mow when I come home from work, even better. Gives me more time to do homework when school's in session and make dinner. Spend time with my kids. All right, I got them all off. I'm not going to get rid of them because it looks like only the one side is bad. So if I move the screw to the other side, to the other hole, it will use this other side of the blade. So if it's on there like that, but then we flip it around to use this side, it's now cutting on this side. But I'm going to replace them right now so I can show you how to do that. It comes with all of the hardware you need, including a Teflon nut and a screw. All right, so you take your screw. You put it through first. Careful, because these are sharp. These are double-sided razor blades. And then you put your washer right on there. And then this gets screwed into each one. I'm not going to use my impact gun to screw this in, because I don't want to strip out the threads. This is the all-wheel drive model, which means all four wheels remove. Let's continue working. Continue working. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, so I did part of the yard over there, and now I just swapped out the blades, so it's going to continue where it left off, which is right about here, and we'll compare the strips. All right, so it looks like it ended right in this strip. We'll mark it off. Mark it with a paint can. And then we'll go back... And we'll see how much, how much of a difference brand new blades make. Because even right here, even right here, I'm seeing blades of grass that were missed. That's not the robot's fault. Like I said, I've been using this thing for three months and I've been abusing those blades. So we'll see how better of a job it does with new ones. Huh. 
<laughs> oh man, that, that did not work the way I wanted it to. That robot's smart. This is one of the coolest things. It literally makes it look like a golf course. It does the perfect cutting lines. Let's check out how it's doing now. Old blades, new blades. New blades did a much better job. Old blades, <laughs> new when blades. It reaches 15% and automatically goes back to recharge. Start Let's start recharging it now. It will come, it will come right back to its docking station. The garage is sold separately but it comes with this docking station. Along with the docking station, you also have to set up the satellite dish. This communicates with the satellites up in space and tells the lawnmower where it is. The satellite also does the mapping and location of it too. Now being all wheel drive, it has the omnidirectional wheels in the front, which means it will turn standing still and be able to do a circle right where it is. Also being four wheel drive, it's able to go up and down my hill. Now this hill's not the steepest, but it's not nothing. I'm, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to show you how steep this hill is, besides with the feet of my tripod. Now, I think that is just about level, and there's a slide going down my hill. So the front two feet, the front two feet are on the top and then the back one is going down the hill. So let's see the height difference. And that's a good nine inches to make it level. So it's a pretty steep hill. It's not the steepest hill, but it's not a little slant. I mean, you fly down that slide. Now I got the biggest model of Luba 2 that they sell. This will map 2.5 acres of land and it, will, it won't it will mow all of it at once because it needs to come back and recharge, but you can set tasks to go out and do that. What makes this really cool, I mapped my neighbor's yard. Last year the husband ended up having bypass surgery on his heart, so he wasn't able to mow his yard. When I upgraded my mower to a robot lawnmower, I wanted one that would do both of our yards. So right here is my yard, and here's my neighbor's yard. That's their house right there, the part that's not, not mapped. And then this is the path from my house to theirs. So we're going to select tasks, and we're going to do the front yard, area four and area three. going to take a total of 176 minutes for the lawnmower to do that. Let's follow the lawnmower over to the neighbor's house. What else is really cool about this, if it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's got a camera on it so you can watch what it's doing. I have it mapped to go along the side of the road. I don't have a good spot between our houses for it to go. There's that 360 turning. Starts to lose Wi-Fi right about here. We're going to get off the app right now and let it do its thing. But look at the lines in their yard. They like this the most. They love how it looks like a golf course. This is from yesterday's mow. Look at the lines in the back. So nice. So I just set it to come over here and do all this. I must have missed this side last week. You can set this thing on a schedule to run when you want it to run, or you can manually set it to run yourself. I highly doubt it's going to get these flowers because it picks it up as an obstacle. It has obstacle avoidance. It has the front bumper. It has all the sensors on the side and on the front. Oh, it might go right through those flowers. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. I set it to do this side first. It's going to come over here, cut this side of the grass, and then it will go back to this section here. Now, what's so cool about being able to program this to do 
2.5 acres, is you can share the cost of this. This isn't a cheap lawnmower. This is a little over $4,000 to get the, the biggest one that they sell, which again, it will do 2.5 acres. So let's say you live in a housing community with houses right next to each other with a half acre in each one. You can hook this up to each one of those houses and mow all of your neighbors. So that means you and your neighbors can throw in on this lawnmower, cut the cost between multiple houses, multiple people, and then you never have to worry about your lawn again. You map it and forget it. You set the task to run weekly, it goes off to your neighbor's house, mows their lawn on Monday, mows the next house on Tuesday, and so on from there, mows your house on Friday. So your house is ready for the weekend. I haven't mowed my lawn all year, but the robot lawnmower has. I've let this go for about a week and a half, but it will cut it right down to, to two and a half inches, to two in, 2.2 inches. You can set the cutting speed. Right now I have it set to, right now I'm gonna set to 0.7, so it would do the slowest cut possible. You can also set the cutting height. This model, the biggest model, will go from 2.2 inches all the way up to 3.9 inches. Both of us prefer it being the shortest, so we'll put it back at 2.2 inches. The yellow spot is a no-mow zone, so I mapped all the way around. I mapped all the way around their lilac bushes right here, and the lawnmower will not mow inside of there, but it will mow all the way around it in the green area. So now we're in the backyard, area one. I mapped it around their garden, right there, and their fire pit pavilion area, right there. So it goes all the way around the pavilion and around the vegetable garden here. So it goes all the way around the pavilion area and the vegetable garden here. It does a pretty good job. I mean, look at these lines. That's so pretty, I love it. Now your whole neighborhood could look like this. Oh, hey, Bob. So I'm over at the neighbor's house. Got the lawnmower going. He invited me over for a beer. Chicken and Remy dog followed me over. So lawnmower's going. Time for step two. Cheers, Bob. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Shimmer. Shimmer leads all the chickens over here, and they come over, and they pick the ticks out of the yard, too. They don't mind the chickens. They don't mind the dog. They don't mind me. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'll see, you when, uh, I'll see you when the beer's done. Now, the only complaint that the neighbors have is that it doesn't bag up the grass. Now, again, this is the biggest model, the most expensive model, but they have a smaller one that does have a bagger on it, if you're interested in that. I say it's a complaint but this is better than having them all year long. When you keep up on it weekly, you don't have all of these clippings. When it's cutting a half inch off at a time, you don't have this. When I initially set this up, the grass in both of our yards was about a foot tall. It was outrageous. Here's a night time lapse of it cutting my neighbor's backyard. At night time, the time lapse was freaking so cool. Since the grass was so high and it has all the sensors, when it reached a thick patch of grass, it completely just went around it. So I had to go back the next day and cut it manually. But after that, it maintains your yard perfectly. Now again, it has this front bumper. So if it bumps into something, it will reverse out of its way. Which is awesome for your dogs or your chickens. The chickens have a tendency to run out of its way but the dog it picks it right up and it will go right around it and if it's a big enough obstacle it will pick you up on the sensors and just go around you just like that now i just missed that whole patch of grass that kind of sucks but i'll send it back over later on tonight it is so quiet you can mow your grass at night time there's no gas mower sound there's no loud blades spinning it's just those two smaller blades in the bottom just spinning like crazy now again Initial cost of getting this mower is about the cost of a zero turn mower, but you don't have to cut your own grass. You set it and forget it. A really cool idea I had for it was scheduling it to go around my chicken coop at nighttime in the middle of the night to ward off predators. I kind of think that's a great idea. You set it for a couple times during the night to start and just go around the yard. It makes enough noise and it has lights at nighttime. 
when the, when the sun starts to go down, the lights automatically come on. So that's got to scare something away, right? With it going around the yard, driving around, I think it will keep predators out of the yard. I think that's another plus for this mower. If you have chickens or other livestock that you want to keep predators out with. The coolest thing about this is being able to send it over to my neighbor's yard. If you have neighbors and you want to throw in with your neighbors to get this expensive mower, I think that's a great idea. Let's say you're not best friends with your neighbor and you want to charge him to send the mower over to their house. Maybe it will pay itself off in a few years. Maybe teach your kids how to set it up and have them go door to door in your neighborhood to set it up and mow their lawns. Now again, it, the biggest model will only do 2.5 acres, but if you're in a neighborhood and each person has a half an acre, that's five houses, 50 bucks at a rip, that's 250 bucks a week. Well, be minus yours. That's 200 bucks a week. It's not bad for a lawnmower where all you got to do is push a button on your phone and it does the rest. So do I think the Luba 2 from Mammothon is worth the money or just funny? If you have the money to spend on a robot lawnmower, it has saved me lots of sweat and lots of time this, this mowing season. And my neighbor, it's totally worth the money if you have the money to spend on it. Now this is the top model. The lowest model I think is about 1500 bucks, and then going up from there. So pick the model that's right for you. Thanks a lot for watching this robot lawnmower adventure. See you guys in the next one.